G. Uh, welcome to uh, my little practice studio. Uh, today uh, we have a bass relic. Uh, that's um, unusual because we do mostly guitars, but occasionally I get the itch to do a uh, a uh, bass relic. <clears throat> the other day I was flipping through Musician's Friends Private Reserve, the, you know, aka their very expensive uh, guitars and basses, and they had a uh, Fender Master Built um, Black over Candy Apple Red, and I'm like, well, gee, that kind of looks like uh, one of the projects I've got sitting sitting in the shop. So it's inspired me to finish this one up. As you can see, it is a uh, candy apple red that had been shot three different times um, until they finally decided to shoot it black. Um, I relicked it, worn it out, front and back. Um, we took a uh, uh, we took a uh, uh, tortoise pick guard and we aged it. Added the uh, F logo, dist distressed it, and we uh, relicked all the hardware. As you can see on the back, it is the open, <coughs> open gear clover tuners. <clears throat> this bass did start out as a brand new uh, Squire jazz bass. Um, so all the aging and wear on it has been done by me in the last day or so. Anyways, uh, the pickups are nice and strong. It has a the standard uh, volume for each pickup. And then uh, the global tone. Uh, of course, she has brand new strings on it. And I uh, did a little setup on her. So I'm going to play her real quick. Um, <coughs> for those of you who don't know, I do play bass in a band that I also play in guitar in. I'm not uh, the world's greatest bass player, but I will uh, show you what I can do here. Mike G. If you need a custom guitar, custom bass, or if you have something of your own that you would like a relic finish to, feel free to give me a call. 602-769-1131. Till next time, take it easy. Mm -hmm.